Hey guys, I'm Tim Nichols. Welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Make sure you smash that like button, comment, share this video with your garden and friends. Today we got a walk through. We're here at the open house here, the March open house. And Lee was here yesterday and he said, hey Tim, I'd really like to go through and talk about some conifers. And Absolutely. So, so we're here on the Saturday and we're gonna go through here and talk about some conifers. So Lee, what, uh, where, where are you from? I'm from Oklahoma City. I live just on the uh, east side of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma and uh, kind of in what's what's called the uh, cross timbers and we've got lots of, of natural trees that grow in there and that kind of works well with these understory Japanese maples for example red buds and uh, the other things that Mr. Maple uh, produces and sells that are unique and uh, a few years ago my mother watched a TV show that she saw hey you gotta come she said there's these two sweet guys that are on there just like your bro you and your brother and uh they've got a great business and you need to watch it and i so i did and i've been hooked ever since and uh now i've got well over 80 different varieties that came from these guys and i'm trying to uh have some little areas in my garden that not just all japanese maples but some uh, conifers with them and uh, other unique plants and uh, have a little walking walk through and so uh, as part of it uh, when I came to this open house yes we bought uh, Japanese maples but I got to have some things that go with them, contrast with them and so uh, yeah well that's what we're doing Lee is one of the many people in the Mr. Maple community <laughs> we got a Mr. Maple community and our Mr. Maple friends group on Facebook Lee's pretty active there We've also got the live chats that happen when these videos go live and you can get involved in the live chats directly uh, with other people who love Japanese maples who are just as oh addicted as, as we are. Absolutely. It's wonderful to connect with people. I got to meet some of them for the first time uh, here and people from all over. Uh, there's Lynn in Mississippi. There's an Allen in New Jersey. There's an Allen here in uh, in Tennessee that's real close that's a great collector that uh, I've got they've helped me along the way and it's so fun to talk to them about b different problems you have and and these guys if you get online they're real friendly and uh, they'll joke with you I'm a little bit of a joker and uh, anyway that just I feeds my <laughs> my stuff with this and it will with you if you get involved with it so let's start talking about some conifers okay. Uh, down through here, what, what interests you in conifers? Well, uh, I just like things that would, would contrast with the, the maples that I've got. Mostly, I'm going to want dwarfs yeah. that are a little smaller that fit around them. Yeah. And uh, like I've got one corner area where my backyard fence comes together. And I've, uh, I've got some stuff around there. And eventually, I'm going to have a walking trail. So I'll have little areas around uh, that I'll need things like this. I've already got bl baby blue eyes. I, I like baby blue eyes. Oh, what, 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 what drew you to it? The color and uh, when you see it in the morning, you'll get up and the sun shines on it. And these little, these little leaves with that little bright blue, baby kind of blue, just sparkle in the morning. In fact, my, uh, my three-year-old uh, granddaughter, Lindley, shoot for the first time, she noticed it right off the Oh, isn't that cute? She watches this little uh, little uh, cartoon online that's called Bluey, and she goes, it's Bluey. <laughs> so anyway. The, the, uh, I like it too. It's, it's just got, it's got that sort of lively character feel to it. Absolutely. And it's one of those plants that's just, that silver blue to it on the backside of the needle gives it a bluer appearance. Right. And it, it it's so just so cool with its, its rounded shape. That's what I'm talking about. These guys have this knowledge about these these trees that aren't you don't see every day uh, when you go to a, a big box store, and they can tell you about these special little things that make the difference. So, but Camasiparus obtuse aurora, that's going to be a six to eight footer with some sunlight that gets some bright yellow with okay. the dark green on the interior. Okay. So it's a two tone. Again, it's another colorful conifer okay. that can handle. You know, you still want to give it some shade where you're at. Right. But this is a, a conifer that adds some evergreen interest. Okay. So I'll tell you, we've got some really cool ABs in okay. here. But with the ABs, these aren't grafted onto firma. 
So these are grafted onto Coriana. Okay. So for you in the heat, I don't recommend them. All right. For people in the Pacific Northwest, they can use these on Coriana. Got for people it. in the hotter climates, where we want them on Abies firma. And when you do that, you can get plants that are the firs in those hotter climates. That'll work. But the Coriana and most of the other Abies don't do well on in the hot. The roots don't do well in the hot. It's not necessarily the top. It's the roots. Right. And so the conifer side has figured all that jazz out, which is awesome. Right. What's this uh, bright yellow uh, little booger right over here? Is so that's another Abies. So okay, that's going to be okay. Abies Golden that's Spreader, uh, and it's that one in particular is grafted onto Coriana. Okay. So again, we're going to want right. for you specifically, if it's an Abies, we're going to want it grafted on okay. Firma, okay. which we do have a lot of that in the works of a lot of really cool Abies that will be that will okay. be grafted onto Firma, All and right. we list that on the website. And we say these are grafted onto Abies Firma which they make them more heat tolerant. Okay. So it's just where we're at, they can grow on Firma. You start going down to like Columbia, South Carolina, you're gonna want them on the Firma rootstock rather gotcha. than on Coriana. Well, that's the stuff I don't know that I need an <laughs> expert like you helping yeah. me with. Uh, and Tim has uh, turned me to the yellow side. The yellow <laughs> side love, is, is pretty nice. I, I love the yellows. They, they're just so bright and uh, Usually, like me, we're gonna have to have them in, in uh, shade. Yeah. And so when you put put something with some gold or yellow color in there, it just pops. And uh, the the yellow color is something that attracts me definitely. Okay. Uh, some of the Norway spruces are awesome, but again, Oklahoma City, I'm not so sure the Norway right. spruces will do well for you. Uh, so we're gonna try to focus on some okay. of the plants that okay would do well for you, or that are just really cool. Uh, this is Camasipris obtusa Cheerman. Is that one you have? I have one, but you know, I was wanting a couple more for uh, for my backyard. I've yeah. got one up up near my. I've got a little alcove that I've got some Scott spreading pines. I've got it. Yeah. I've got a little. Uh, I've got an orangeola as the centerpiece of it, and then I've got this other stuff planted around it. Um, I've got a little curly leaf uh, maple that you sold me. So a tiny little guy about the, it's the cutest thing. And so are those. And uh, I was needing a couple of them. Well, it's, I like it just because it has those like cathedrals. Yeah. That come across That it. just shoot up and yes, I love that. And that just gives it a fun. Uh, it looks, di I like anything different like that. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a pretty cool plant. Uh, a plant that's pretty awesome are these Whistle Cigar. I've got a bigger setup here. We'll mention it here okay. in a minute. But that's an awesome, plant they're grafted on a disease resistant rootstock okay. which means they're a heat tolerant and disease resistant rootstock okay. so they, they would actually do well well for you as well over here we've got cedruses okay now cedruses do extremely well in the heat they're not used enough but wells golden when you put that in the sunlight that's a yellow cedrus deodora so it's going to give you a lot more yellow needles on that um, it's also known as cedrus deodora aria is what the conference study website says i have one yeah and it's beautiful. It's it's probably, I don't know, three or four years old. I've got it a couple of years ago, actually before I even started with you guys. Yeah. And uh, it's it's it, it's tough enough to handle it and grows well in our area. I, I, I like the cedruses. They're some of my favorite oh, plants for those, yes. those hotter climates. They work really well. Do you grow many thugas? I haven't. Uh, I, I, think, I think they're more of a uh some of the western arborvitaes probably would do well in some of okay. the some of your areas so how um, are these going to be upright grower or are they going to be this makes more of a ball shape okay and it's called amber glow it's yellow right <coughs> now but during the winter it gets more of that that sort of ball shape so it changes that changes the color for the season kind yeah. of thing kind of like goldfinches do <laughs> yeah yeah it's pretty awesome um coming down through here this is a cool conifer and to me this is a plant like the baby blue ice that a okay. lot of people when they get it 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 adds that lively feel right in the garden and it's one of those plants that you just want to want to touch and oh there's certain times of the season this is just really 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 oh, soft yeah. has almost that perfectly rounded shape like a chia pet yeah it does yeah that's amazing but that one goes with when the this new growth flush comes out it's gonna be a bright golden yellow Oh, really? But then it gets bronze tendons to it in the sunlight later on okay. in the summer. 
And so again, this is one that just keeps giving you a lot of different color changes throughout the season. It's never I may need one of those. <laughs> Quit <And> then, talking. <laughs> no. So this right here is our Camasipris Lawsoniana Whistle Sagara. So the, is it kin to that? That one in the that, same family? Yeah, this is one that I'd mentioned earlier. There's a bigger set of them right here. Okay. And okay. it's important when you get these to get them that they're grafted. Okay. The rooted cutting ones often catch diseases. Um, and they, they don't really do well in some higher heat set in settings. Okay. Um, but then when they're grafted on disease resistant rootstock, I mean, this is another plant that makes really nice cathedrals. And we're talking a plant that in 10 years will be. 10, 12 feet with some really nice really? shaped cathedrals coming off of it. Okay. So it's not like a perfectly conical shape. It adds a lot of texture out there. Gotcha. With that silver blue color. That's. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And these are coming to a 10 at 10 soon. I don't know why they say, <laughs> say that you're a, a yellow guy. You're a blue guy. <laughs> We're in the conifer house. But I know, I know some, some of your relatives kind of like Carolina blue, so. Oh yeah. It kind of fits. So there's a bunch of different plants in here okay um these specifically here are the Groot spire so is that one that it's a straight up it is kind of it is and so this one this one's got two liters on it i mean you could actually take one of those off pretty easy okay and uh or if you wanted to have two liters on it most of them in here should have just one should have just one but these stay really, really narrow and they're slow growing. Okay. So what these guys do is we're talking, they're gonna end up getting, you know, in 10 years, eight, 10 feet, but they're gonna be like a foot, foot and a half wide. So maybe if in to your entrance of your house or around there somewhere right off, you could have like a, a couple of them that are on each side. Exactly. And, and uh, in 10 years, they wouldn't get too big to, you know, over the top of the house. Yeah. Uh, There's some definitely <coughs> some cool plants in here, though, okay. with some conifers. So, but I've got American. <laughs> oh, yeah, some ginkgos yes. in here, too. I love American. I love ginkgos. They're good, they're good companion plants. With a lot I got of the sickness. I just, I love weird plants and uh, trees and that are going to be here for my kids and my grandkids when I'm gone. So, uh, I want to say right here, I'm going to go grab something real quick. Okay. This is a cool plant and I really don't know if it'll do well for you or not. You <laughs> grow any of the Cedars Atlanticas? Yes, I have one. Uh, how's it performing for you in Oklahoma? It's good. Uh, and it's, uh, I have it on the south side of my house on a corner next to my walkway and it's doing wonderful. It probably grew foot, foot and a half. And now I know they'll get the one get wider, but I've been trimming it. So it's going to be more conical for me to not get so far out in my, I've got a little strip, uh, beside my walkway that leads to my front door and I've got one so far in there. So is this a, this is similar. So or? this is a Cedars Atlantica called Silver Spitz. <laughs> See, that's different. And yeah. this is an upright selection. It has a little bit of a blue color to it, but the new growth on this is variegated. And so you'll get like this yellow variegation on all the new growth okay. on Silver Spitz. And this is just a, a crazy variegated Cedars Atlantica, more oh, upright God. shape. Gotta have it. And I've got these in the in this size here, the three gallon, but I've also got these in the one gallon as well. So or these are actually two gallons and the, the one gallons as well. Okay. But uh definitely a, a pretty cool conifer for the conifer house. Oh yeah. Uh that's kind of different kind of conifer that I that I'm really attracted to. Yeah. Uh that not everybody is gonna have those. You're not gonna find that at Lowe's or uh wherever. But uh, <laughs> Mr. Maple, you will find this kind of stuff. And with uh, experts like Tim here to, to guide you, uh, you'll have a special garden. Hey, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching today's uh, walkthrough of the Confer House with Lee Todd here at the Open House. Smash that like button, share this video to gardening friends, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got some really cool plants out there. Take care. Take care. God bless. And have a great day.